Hello guys, welcome to Data and Nutshell. Today we are going to understand what are array formulas and array constraint formulas and when and how to use them. So let's begin with the concept. So for example, I have the sheet, sheet 3 and this particular sheet is a backend of a Google form. And whenever a user enters their entry in the form, a new row item gets created. And you are in a, in a situation where you have to apply a formula here for example a concatenate of name and age and every time whenever a new entry comes in you have to come on this sheet and you have to drag the formula so this is where you can apply array formula with array constraint and it will be very useful in it so you can start array formula with equals to array and you will get two options array formula and array constraint like this select array formula and there is a bracket after this and just you choose a and put ampersand sign and then b3 and then just close the bracket and that is all you have to do right so as of now it has not been populated right but if i go here and try to extend the range from a3 colon a to b3 colon b so this formula is saying go and concatenate a3 till last and b3 till i press enter it will populate the data but there is a catch in this so if your data is huge right and for example after this row there is no data in column a and b but still array formula will will be calculating for all the rows till row number 1000 so this is the reason why sometimes sheets get very heavy right so to ignore that we have array constraint it's basically a break for array formula it acts as a break it basically constrains the array formula to some particular row right so if i go and try to apply array constraint i'll select array constraint from this and then i'll come here and we'll put a comma and then up to which row i want it so for example in this case i have one two three four four entries so i want for four rows comma one and then bracket close and enter and we can see the data is populating till six row as of now but if i go and change it to three see we have only three values it did not consider the last and it only took three values this is very useful when when you have huge data sets and you have to maintain all the formulas and all you can just apply this array formula and just forget it it will keep on calculating and it will create an array in this particular row it will create an array of and the best part about this is the formula is in one cell but it is showing for all the rows right so if i try to remove this if i press delete it will it will not get de deleted it will auto populate again and again but yes if i go and delete this particular cell complete formula will disappear and this is how we can move further in larger data sets so i'm going to explain how to implement vlookups and concatenate in large data sets in this video so please keep watching so in this particular column i want to concatenate these two columns together so i'm going to put equals to select this cell and and then select this cell after doing it just go here start a bracket write array formula bracket close then again go here start a bracket array constraint comma count a now i want my formula to be dependent on column B that means if there is a new entry in column B only then populate the formula in front of that cell right so I am going to select B3 colon B comma 1 and bracket close now my formula is ready I just have to change these two cells because we are concatenating so we want all the cells in column A and all the cells in column B should be concatenated and this should be concatenated if in column B there is data right so I'll just write here colon A and then B3 colon B 
and enter here it is for example there is a new entry well there is a text in column a but we cannot find any text in column b that's why in column c there is no uh, concatenate formula applied but in case if i have value here also then see it will auto populate it so this is a usage of array formula with array constraint that you can make sure that your formulas will auto populate you don't have to come again and again and drag the formula and the second thing you can uh, you can make this formula dependent to a particular column like in this case i made it dependent on column b if b exist only then populate the formula otherwise do not populate it if i delete it it will go away and also when you are using concatenate in this case i have not used concatenate formula because it will not work with array constraint and array formula that's why i have used this type of uh, arrangement where i am I'm manually concatenating them with the help of ampersand sign cool so we have learned today that how to do concatenate formula with the help of array formula and array constraint now i want to do a v lookup okay so that can also be done in a same manner so for example i'll just take these two entries and i'll just paste it here okay and i'll take concatenate also so i want no value here right so in this case what i can do i'll just apply normal v lookup we look up this concatenate value and take these two columns remove this freeze it comma 2 comma 0 and bracket close value has been populated but now i want to apply same array formula and array constraint and it's dependent on column c so in this case again i'll start bracket array formula bracket close and again bracket array constraint comma count a count to this select the complete column freeze it bracket close comma 1 and bracket close once it is done go here to c3 write colon c and it is done it will fetch all the data present in this particular in this particular column with the help of array constraint and array formula uh, you can say this is a very beautiful combination where you don't have to work this array constraint and array formula will work for you and you don't have to come to this sheet again and again to drag the formula or use a script to drag the formula i hope you love this video because this will definitely save a lot of time and effort in your daily work right i hope you like the video please do let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section thanks for watching